What's up everybody, it's your boy. You certainly know who I am, that's why you're here. And the last couple days you've been going, why tweeze? Why hasn't there been a video? Why hasn't there been some cheese? So I'm gonna address all of that. I'm currently reporting live from the People Under the Stairs pub, where there's always a classic VHS playing. And tonight's movie is Cleveland Zone, Howard the Duck. So Sunday would have been the Dancing Light Chardonnay, it's rocking you at uh, 12%. And so we brought back a popular segment from last year that we kind of did uh, the Wheel of Cheese. Our options this evening are the Double Smoked Cheddar Cheese, the Truffle Cheddar Cheese, the Tomato Basil Havarat Cheese that says right on the label to pair with the Pinot Grigio, a thousand day aged Gouda, the masquerade mango, and a mere slice of Swiss. So I'm going to put this down on here. I'm going to spin the wheel. So on Sunday, I like on the weekends, of course it lands just on uh, Swiss, just regular Swiss. Let's see how, let's see how it rhymes. Uh, on the weekends, I try to do like higher concept videos. Jacob's out of town right now in Atlanta. Uh, which is a real nightmare for me because he's like an integral part of the show. I killed Susan, so I'm pretty much doing this by myself. Sunday, I had a high concept video. I don't want to just like do like these sorts of videos where I'm just talking to the camera. I want to do like sketches, and I had some scheduling conflicts, and it just didn't pan out. That's a really good Chardonnay. I should uh, start drinking more Chardonnay. Trebbiano Chardonnay. Uh, that is good. That is a flavorful Chardonnay. Everybody knows what Swiss cheese tastes like. Um, it's pretty strong. Actually, doesn't go uh, too badly together. So as uh, we land on a cheese, we're going to take it off the board until... Right up cheese. Feel free to uh, donate or suggest some cheeses. Uh, this is just uh, what we have for now. So as a lot of you probably know and have been posting about is that uh, there is quite the illness going around and I uh, feel like I've been fighting it off for the, uh, like the past week. And yesterday when I got home, uh, I thought it would be a good idea to just do a shot of cough syrup and try to knock it out of me. But, uh, I basically just knocked me out. Fell asleep on the couch. So there's no video. But if there was a video, it would have been Frigid Frolic Shiraz. Which is fun as hell to say. So let's give her a spin. I recently watched the, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas Special. With my family, which I cannot recommend enough. It is a new Christmas classic for sure. Hit you in the fields for 45 minutes straight. And we landed on the Masquerade Mango, which I feel like we've had in the past. This is pretty mid. I don't think that I feel one way or the other about it. All right. I recall this being a very odd flavor combination. You know, it's got uh, ginger and other natural flavors in it. It's imported from the UK, so... Yeah, I don't know what they do over there. They probably like it weird-ass. I don't know. It's weird, man. I don't think it's necessarily bad. It's just... I feel like this grew on me after that cheese just because it like, uh, you get that weird flavor and then it doesn't really matter what you put in your mouth after that. Yeah. Pretty mid. Whatever. Dead two and a half. So remove that from the wheel. Spread these bad boys out here. Which catches us up to today. This will be the Wintertime Wonders Grenache from Spain. 
which is 14.5%, so you know, we already got that going for you. Oh, oh. The Gouda fell off, thank God. And we have the uh, Havarati tomato basil. No, I don't like that at all. Dry, there's a weird aftertaste. It's like, an aftertaste that you feel like you have another thing. It's like uh, some sort of weird root. Tomato, basil, have right cheese. It does say to pair it with a... Uh, Pinot Grigio, but we have this instead. Mm. I don't know if this would really pair with anything. I guess at 14.5, it's just here to rock your uh, Christmas stockings off. So yeah, we're all caught up. Uh, I'm probably going to polish off the rest of this wine and watch the house and Christmas special or something Christmassy. Tomorrow is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It's Rasslin' Liquor Wednesday. So I'll get in a pretty prime video for you tomorrow, I feel. And I hope everyone overcomes illness and, uh, you know, stays healthy for the most part. Uh, that's actually how this whole thing started, you know, being, uh, Quarantine sick in the house. We don't want that anymore. So just do a shot of cough syrup, sleep it off, and I'll see you tomorrow.